Today we are going to study PN junction. Before studying PN junction, we will see a brief history of semiconductor. Solid is divided into three classes: conductor, insulator, and semiconductor. Conductors are good conductor of electricity. They can carry current very easily. Insulators are bad conductor of electricity. They do not carry current at all. Semiconductor behave as an insulator at room temperature, but when the temperature is increased, it starts behaving as a conductor. There are two types of semiconductor: intrinsic semiconductor and extrinsic semiconductor. Intrinsic semiconductor is a pure form of semiconductor. For example, silicon and germanium in a pure form are intrinsic semiconductor. This type of semiconductor they carry current, but the conductivity is very small, so the current flow will be also small. This is because there is less number of free charge carriers. When impurity is added to this intrinsic semiconductor, it results in extrinsic semiconductor. If the impurity is trivalent, it results in p-type semiconductor. In p-type semiconductor, holes are the majority carrier. This is the representation of p-type semiconductor. As we know that the majority charge is hole they are free to move and leave their parent atom when a hole move and leave a parent atom the atom becomes iron and it is negatively charged when a intrinsic semiconductor is doped by pentavalent impurity it results in n type semiconductor in this majority charge is the electron in n type electrons are free to move they are the current carriers when the electron moves it leaves the parent atom and the atom becomes iron which is positively charged when we connect a battery across any one of the extrinsic semiconductor it can current carry lot of current because of excess number of charge carriers the property is very different when a p type and n type is forming a junction the figure shown here is a unbiased pn junction when a p type and a n type semiconductor conductor is brought together they form a pn junction the electrons and holes near the junction recombine with each other there is no free charge there the region near the junction is depleted of free charges therefore the name given to this region is depletion region we can see that there are negative ions in p side of the junction whereas in n type semiconductor a positive ion has been settled near the junction these ions block the further flow of electrons and holes in the uh, regions inside the junction as they behave as a barrier therefore the name given to this region is also barrier potential the graph below it shows the potential developed near the junction of pn junction a diode is a very useful electronic device and a single pn junction is nothing but a diode so a single pn junction is known as diode the symbol of 
a diode is shown the terminal of the diode with p type semiconductor is known as anode and the terminal with n type semiconductor is called as cathode now we will see how we bias a diode now we have connected a battery the positive of the battery is connected to p type and the negative of the battery is connected to n type we will see the vi characteristic of this junction now while plotting the vi characteristic what we do we vary the voltage v and see the effect on the current when the input voltage is zero the uh, the current which we want to measure is also zero when we increase the voltage the holes from the p type will try to come towards the negative of the battery whereas the positive of the battery will attract the electrons while doing this the electrons will try to cross the pn junction as well as holes will also try to cross the pn junction while doing this the depletion layer between the junction will be lost and there will be a very high amount of current which can flow through the diode when the input voltage is zero current will also be zero as i am increasing the voltage the current i find is again zero this is because the depletion region has not been broken by the majority charge carriers as soon as when we apply so much of voltage that depletion region has been broken by the majority charges a very high current will start flowing the voltage at which current starts flowing in a diode is known as knee voltage the value of knee voltage is very small it is 0.7 volt for silicon and 0.3 volt for germanium this is the region where diode behaves as a short circuit and it carries current this is known as forward bias to make a diode run in forward bias we have to connect positive plate of the battery to p type and negative plate of the battery to n type now we will see how a pn junction or a diode behaves when the battery is reversed simultaneously we will plot the vi characteristic for this case when the p type is connected to negative and the n type is connected to positive the electrons from the n type will try to move towards the positive plate of the battery whereas the holes will try to move towards the negative plate of the battery this movement of electrons and holes will widen the depletion region the depletion region will get wider and wider as a result there will be no current in the pn junction and the current in this region will be zero but a small very small current is going to flow through the region due to the minority charge carriers the magnitude of the current is very small the current in reverse bias which is due to minority charge carriers is known as leakage current when the voltage is further increased it is observed that 
the current will drastically get very high this is because of breakdown in the pn junction the voltage at which breakdown takes place is called breakdown voltage the mechanism of breakdown is very complex there are two mechanisms of this breakdown uh, the two mechanism of breakdown is zener breakdown and avalanche breakdown we will study these two mechanism in detail in the later part of this chapter when the p type of pn junction is connected to negative an n type of the semiconductor is connected to the positive plate of the battery the pn junction carries very less current or negligible current we can say that when we bias the pn junction in this polarity the output current is zero in this situation the pn junction behaves as a open circuit and it does not carry any current now the pn junction is said to be in reverse bias so from the vi characteristic of a diode it is very clear that in forward bias the current is going to flow the diode behaves as a short circuit in reverse bias there will be no current as the diode behaves as a open circuit if we connect positive battery to the p type and a negative battery to the n type it is a forward bias condition when the p type of the pn junction is connected to negative and the n type is connected to positive of the battery it is a reverse bias condition